Thank you for those kind words and thanks for everyone taking the time to come down and, and um, we were also live streaming the release of this uh, new song which I think is going to be very inspiring or certainly inspire a lot of people to uh, take this take this whole project that I've been um, trying to um, manifest I suppose but certainly get it out to the public and uh, to know what has been really happening in our country and uh, as everyone knows it takes a bit to get into the Senate, into the High Court of Parliament which I was uh, fortunate to get in there but I got in there for other reasons and, uh, and of course I spotted the problem straight away and that is that the People's Authority had been taken away uh, through the events of the Labor Government and, um, and that took away our rights and in effect only granted us privileges. So we need to not sit on our rights anymore, we need to bring them back and, uh, and uh, not act on privileges and get back in jurisdiction and uh, this song clearly spells out my well, the narrative of what I've been saying since 2016. Uh, it is in the words um, and uh, I want everyone to listen to the words because not only is it a great uh, melody and a tune, I guess, and uh, congratulations to Kelly, she's put it, it's, it's great, I just love it, and, um, but it really sends home the message to what we all need to do, and, and let's not give up, because uh, as you know, I've defaulted the Commissioner of Police, um, and uh, I've certainly taken matters past just talking like I've done here, I don't think anyone could say that I haven't been a bush fly in the corner of the eye and taken things right out to the front line and, and tested, you know, the alleged borders and, and so forth. But it's bringing back what I uh, was um, uh, educated in, what I was able to do as a federal senator. So no one can argue that uh, I'm not experienced in that field. And the only way that we're going to win this is at the legislature level, okay, that's at the level that we need to win it, not in the courts, because if it ain't right at the top, it ain't right at the bottom. So always remember this, uh, it's not how you start the race, it is how you finish. And we're going to finish strong, uh, and this song is, is the start of it, the default and um, the passage now that is now paved for us to go back to our honest seat of government in Western Australia, and not only in Western Australia, but in Australia. So thank you very much. and. Um, I look forward to Kelly coming up and singing it. God oh, bless. That was short and sweet. That was. That was wow. I was really hoping for at least <coughs> half an hour of speech. <laughs> Oh gosh! So this song, "Wake Up Australia," um, has it just? I just sat down with a guitar, and it just, I had my phone with me, which I've really learned to do, I, and I just pushed the button and I wrote it very quickly because of the work that Rod has done, and it just listening and listening and asking him questions, and William and I just sat there, we were just in awe, could hardly even get a cup of coffee into him. I could hardly get any food to him in eight hours because he's very passionate and it's just information that we need to all, every single Australian needs to know this. Yeah, it's, it's quite a shock really. It's, it sort of makes you realise, wow, you know, you're born and then you grow up in a, in a country and the level of stealth, and that's in this song, that our, our nation has been stealthily stealthily stolen. Oh no, not that one. <laughs> <laughs> I've been writing it to your song. You need a cape. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Well, what I might do is I might just say a few more words. Yes, so. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> um, well, I just want to give you an update. I did a live stream, but um, as you know, we've been to Landgate and opportunities have now opened up there with our property rights, uh, not privileges, rights. And of course, you have rights back under your Crown title, not under your corporate title, that's privileges. So we've now had opportunities to go into Landgate and really open up in regards to land because everyone's land is their, is their treasure, their home is their castle. And it's been interesting with the West Australian Police because um, I was told yesterday that I'm very much well on their radar, um, but for a good reason because there are real issues over where they stand under their office and Section 10 of the Police Act of 1892, there's a conundrum in that section uh, and that conundrum is that they only swear allegiance to the Sovereign Lady and of course upon her death um, there is no rural styles and title here in Western Australia to and Australia to create the executive authority of King of Australia. So. Technically, the law is telling us that uh, at a legislature level that we're sitting in parliaments without an executive power. Uh, the, there must be a king or a queen in a parliament. Uh, that's how the democracy is created. So um, I've been saying this for some time. It is a real problem uh, and the establishment certainly don't like it and they're kicking back hard, but we've just got to all come together and know that we do have a law and we do have a Commonwealth of Australia Constitution Act 1900 United Kingdom Act. It was an act passed by uh, the British Parliament and that created our democracy and that is our law. And that act is actually our deeds, our founding deeds that um, give every man, woman and child uh, this great nation because it's all of ours and no disrespect to First Nation, but it is all of ours. We are all Australians and they are the founding deeds. And those laws are fully binding. And always remember that every other law is subject to that founding deed because they are your titles to this great nation. So, as you know, been testing, they claim there were borders uh, out at um, Eucla there. Uh, as it turned out, it's a border sign line. We all know we're one self-governing colony. Uh, it was ratified by all the Australian people Back at Federation, uh, and all our borders went out 12 mile out to sea. So do we have any internal borders? The law says no. Uh, we only have political limitations. So when we were testing a lot of things in the court, uh, the police uh, were basically pulling us up in South Australia. Uh, they had no cross-border powers. But anyway, the establishment kept saying, oh, well, you know, uh, maybe. But a lot of people got off, a lot of people got home and we stood up to McGowan and McGowan was wrong uh, when we were out there. Uh, McGowan, uh, the, uh, Dawson, who was the police commissioner at the time, revoked the um, prohibition out there and uh, we were able to get everyone home safely to their home, which was, which was a good feat. So, but unfortunately, uh, I got a couple of battle scars out of it. So, but that doesn't matter. It, it's about me taking what I know to you, the people, I mean, at, after all, at that time you were paying my salary, so it is my obligation and I was duly sworn under Section 42 of your founding deeds, that's the Commonwealth of Australia Constitution Act, and I didn't take a foreign um, uh, allegiance to a Queen of Australia. I just, just couldn't do it. I wouldn't do it because our Senate manual says must and shall, and that gives me the jurisdiction to do what I'm doing. So. Currently at the moment, with our property rights, the police, because we've been challenging the police whether they may be stepping into civil and criminal. Of course, the police officer can't involve himself in criminal matters, otherwise his uniform disappears. They're now putting violent restraining orders on myself uh, over proper due process by common law sheriffs uh, working on the, um, the findings of the Royal Commission, which I wrote the terms of the Royal Commission, and of course the banks were caught out to be um, not nice uh, entities, but they're corporations again. Um, but now the police are pretty much getting everyone to do a violence restraining order. So a violence restraining order, though it does sound nasty, uh, is civil. Uh, and if you violate that order, well, then it becomes criminal. So pretty much what's happened is they've orchestrated it so there's no liability to the WA police force. But 
the train is coming into station. Um, the Triple C now, I was in with the Triple C yesterday. Uh, Bruno also was at the Triple C. They are investigating the events of what happened to me on the 20th of, um, of October. I defaulted the Police Commissioner Blanche on the 17th of October. By the 20th of October, I was in the back of a paddy wagon, suffered a, a medical procedure or medical altercation and it was airlifted to Perth. So that put a shot over my bow as well. Not so much with the confrontation of the police, but more over uh, doing property damage to a beautiful old antique heritage type pub out in the wheat belt. And uh, they just had no respect for that property at all. And that's, and I'm, I am suing them out of uniform. I'm gonna ask for support from the public to do it. Um, and uh, I'm gonna move forward with that. And uh, that's that's one thing I'm going to do, but certainly hold the police to account because they're the ones that are preventing us to going back to our honest seat of government. And um, and at the end of the day, you know, as everyone says, when we go to Parliament, they say, "Have your permit." Why do we need a permit? We own the joint. So um, when you put that to them, they just let you go ahead. So what we need to do is understand who we are, understand what our law is and understand that not all politicians are, are against you. Um, I'm certainly not one of those, uh, but just look at ones that have been there and please uh, take heed of what I'm trying to say because what I'm telling you is the whole truth, nothing but the truth, so help me God. And um, you just need to keep supporting because we will win this. There is no question. The reason why we'll win it because we have the law on our side. Thank you. Wake up, 
everyone spread the word spread the word thank you senator rodney